All right, today's the 31st of March, Wednesday. Now let's take a look at the Oz 200 index. Now yesterday, the Oz 200 index went sharply up. This downfall we were expecting before, so it had a nice fall because when the market got up to this resistance level here, on this line here, we wanted to sell and at the bottoms we could also buy. So resistance support, we can play in between these lines, we said. And once again, it came up to that resistance level. So I think this is another sell opportunity here. Um, it's also on the PST line here, which is LCL1. 6854 and the first spot to sell was 6854 which is where is it 6854 is right here okay so spot on okay there we go all right 6854 so from here onwards I think this is a sell opportunity with a tight stop loss just above there. You don't have to put it too far out because, okay, just above the high of that is also fine. I just take into consideration this trend line here because it just might do a slightly higher to catch this double top. But on the daily, it's a channel down. So this really is the sell zone here. All right. Anywhere around here is a sell zone. So on the PST line, I think it was good to sell, okay, this week. And it did, did that, nearly came down to the target on the monthly. But at the end of the day, this is a sell zone here. If it breaks above this, then that line will be the sell level there. If you want to buy, I wouldn't buy it here, obviously, this is resistance, right? Um, Personally, I wouldn't be buying at the tops of the market here. I wouldn't. If it came down, like we said yesterday, if it does come down, we're okay to buy at the bottoms to go up because we're in, in between support and resistance. But at a resistance level, you know, buying around here is just not on. If it breaks out and then pulls back, maybe you can try that one because that's like a breakout pullback and that's fine to do actually. But be mindful about the resistance levels here and here. Like I said before, end of March, beginning of April, up to the 9th of April, we should pretty much see, um, you know, what's going on with the market. So you can see the market is very choppy and unsure, right? So we'd want to be really trading on the line with everything. Yeah, on top of the PST lines and, and resistance lines. So that that would be the place where there's minimum risk. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now with the Aussie dollar, we had, as you know, shoulder, head, shoulder setup. That was a good buy kiss. So we've been shorting from here onwards, right? In the Aussie sessions. Let's do this. And the, uh, and the head and shoulders eventuated. Now we've got a breakdown, good buy kiss, sell again. And then yesterday we had targets. This was where the price was. So this was a nice spot to sell again. Okay, good to sell. Um, and also if the market popped its head up, I said these levels also good to sell, you know, because the market's heading downwards. So this was the initially good spot to sell when we were right looking at the market yesterday, uh, early in the morning. And that was like, boom, yeah. And if it went even higher, we wanted to sell again because this is on a sell zone. And now you can see here, we're having a consolidation period. So here you want to just, you know, at the tops, just sell downwards. Anywhere on the red line is also good to be selling downwards. Okay. On the weekly, you'll see we're going down. We've got room to come down. Goodbye, kiss and a goodbye kiss, okay? The highest it did was 55.74. We had 56.54 on the target, which was, like I said, slightly higher at 76.80, which is right about here. It's just slightly higher than the daily, uh, than the weekly pivot. But yesterday I did say this is a good spot to be selling as well. Um, simply because we're just like in between goodbye kisses here. So this has got room to come down. 
the first target is a bit too close for comfort, but for person who's been selling all the way from here, it's just a matter of following your stops. Let's take a look at SP500 gold. Now with gold, let's start with that one. Personally, I got stopped out yesterday. Um, but we were expecting gold to come back, you know, possibly all the way down to a double bottom, right? possibly, because um, I was happy to buy gold. Whoops. I was happy to buy gold uh, at the Fibonacci levels also here, but it just cut through yesterday. So this is a, you know, this is a double bottom, as you can see, this is not a bad spot. Okay, this is not a bad spot to be buying, I think, gold with a tight stop loss as well. You know, you don't have to really um, do anything um, risky here, just a tight stop loss under 16, you know, 70, you'll be fine. I think this is a good place to be going long on this one. Um, the other thing you need to be careful for when going for a double bottom, keep the, the lot size a little smaller. Okay, the reason I say is because there's the bottom of the channel here. Now, double bottom or slightly lower will bring us here and it'll give us a divergence. When that divergence happens, then that's also a good spot to be buying. So the price is lower, but the PST says there's divergence. So this is a good spot here, as you can see, right on there. So if the market pushes down a little bit, um, this is also a good spot to be buying. Alternatively, you can wait, okay, because we don't know if it's going to be a double bottom or slightly lower, right? So we can wait. And once, um, once a U-turn comes in, you can go long there as well. Now, on the weekly, I've got 30 here which is, as you can see, 16.44. And 16.59 is right on the line here. So 16.59.44, oh, you know, it's a bit, about 15 bucks in there. But still, it's got room to come down a little bit. So don't panic if this is, you know, this doesn't work. But this is not a bad spot to be buying. Like I said, you could do it with a, small lot size alternatively just wait for a u-turn and that's also fine okay so we're on wednesday today um, we've got room to go now let's take a look at the sp500 and the sp500 is now making another double top here okay slightly lower this time this was slightly higher this is slightly lower um, I'm all good for selling on the line, and I think the weekly was done as well. The weekly PSD was done, 64.91, and the highest it did was 64.85. Okay, so that's pretty much done this week, and that um, that price was 3,983, and the highest it did was 3,982.10. Right, so it's pretty pretty close right spot on now once the price got there that was like two days ago as you can see the market just stopped stalled pulled back it hasn't gone over it or above it now today 3975 is the daily right 6052 right 3978 all right so that 3978 which is here is still an option for today. If it is, it's going to be this red line here, as you can see. Let me get rid of the white line. So if the market still comes up here to this level, this I think is still a sell option here, sell level. All right. Um, a trend change we won't know until this is broken down. All right. And you know, that's how it is. So until we have a serious breakdown and the market closes below, then you know we want to we want to see a closure at least below three thousand seven hundred and fifty before we can say, well, you know, maybe we're starting to turn around. Now on the daily, as you can see, the market is still in this you know mode. Um, 
we don't know if this double top is going to eventuate. So I marked the neckline here, but if the market comes back down here, then breaks down, that's you know really going to be the sign that things are going the other way. And we should get a um, signal of that, hopefully this week or next week um, on the SP 500. So like I said, um, spots to be selling are on the lines on the daily. It's already done the weekly, as you can see. If it does the daily again today, it's good to sell. If it just breaks down below the weekly on a pull up, I think it's also good to be selling. Um, and uh, that's about it. So on a daily here, um, it's good to sell. Or if you're going to wait for a U turn, you can also do that too. If it comes up to the red line on H1, you could sell on the red or the blue lines here. You could sell here as well with a tight stop loss. All those things are possible to do. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the euro dollar as well while we're at it. Okay, euro dollar, we said we've got room to come down because we're heading down to this zone. See, that's where the targets are. So the market's coming down. This was a bit of a support area, so I wasn't so keen on buying around here, but I was also keen on selling on the lines here. And, oops, let's see, this is the one hour chart. Yesterday, I wasn't keen on buying here because it was right on the support, but look how it broke down. Now, once it breaks down like this cleanly, it's a really nice clean breakdown, any pull up is a sign for us to sell. So once the market breaks down, a pull up is good for you to sell bang, 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 all the way down again. So there's an opportunity here, but sell on a pull up rather than just selling anywhere. Otherwise you get mixed up in the jazz and that'll just, you know, that'll just put a bit of stress on your, on your trading. A good place to sell today would be the daily pivot because that's where they bounced off yesterday. Um, so going up here would be good. Um, a little flag formation here. That's also good. So if the market pops up to a blue line, red line, these are like goodbye kisses for us. We're good to go with that. Um, okay. Well, we've got room to come down. Alternatively, um, what to do with this? Well, you know, that's it. Babe. That's all you can do really. Every time it pops its head up, you can just keep selling because they're just going to be taking this down and down and down. See how the market moves up. This was a daily pivot as well, if you recall. Market moves up, daily pivot, red line, they just sell it off. Okay, so that's the kind of thing you want. Well, movement up, red line, daily pivot, sell it off. So instead of selling it at a, at a low price, try to sell at a better price there on anything you trade, actually. Okay, so let's, I think that's about it. All right, hope that helps. Have a good day trading.